Sam Nunberg uh, was a former campaign aide for Donald Trump, uh, and he's had some very interesting uh, media appearances in the past, some including having a couple of drinks before going on air. I don't, I don't recommend that. <laughs> now, on Monday, he decided to uh, go back on TV to talk about Michael Cohen, this time without having a few drinks. Cohen, of course, uh, look, Cohen's Trump's lawyer. He's also in trouble for making a payment of $130,000 to a porn star. Um, and while he was on MSNBC, uh, this show, specifically The Beat with Ari Melber, uh, he was face-to-face -face with Stormy Daniels' attorney, Michael Avenetti. Now, Avenetti decided he was going to ask uh, a very important question about corruption. He asked Nunberg if Cohen had ever sold access to President Trump. Obviously, Michael was not asked to join the administration, did not go to Washington. I, I mean, did he undertake any business dealings uh, uh, along the lines of like selling access to the president? Or did you get the impression that he was trying to put himself out there as a guy that could put people in touch with the president? No, I, I had limited contact with Michael because it wasn't going to be my position was I was a pro Steve Bannon guy. Mm. Michael is a Jared Kushner guy. Got it. So it was, you know, even though I like Michael a lot, Michael is a very good snake when it comes to stuff like that. So he would sit there across from me, pretend to be my best friend and just report back to them. Uh, with that said, I ran into him. What do you mean by snake? Oh, I mean, as a compliment. I mean, for instance, he'll sit there and then he'll just report everything I tell him back to uh, Jared Kushner, let's say. So you didn't trust him? I didn't per se. When I was when I was a Bannon guy, sure, I didn't trust him. He's a good snake. I mean, he's a snake, but he's a good one. That's a compliment. What? I don't think I don't think that's a compliment. <laughs> but then again, look, um, kind of shows you how they regard each other in the Trump administration, all the backstabbing, all the manipulation. Yeah, he may be a snake, but he's a good snake. He's one of the good ones, right? All you do is that, you know, I would go and I would talk and he would report everything that I said to Jared Kushner. Because I was a Bannon guy, he was a Kushner guy. Isn't it amazing? Just, I mean, just the level of, I, I don't know, dysfunction, maybe? Um, just how people relate to each other in politics and especially in the trump administration I, I mean yeah he's a snake but don't worry he's a good snake i mean that in the best possible way wow just wow now would a snake possibly sell access to the president it is possible again you're a snake right <laughs> so so what's important about that is what wasn't said right so yes he said He's a snake, right? But he didn't actually really answer the question. He said, I don't know. I wasn't all that close to Cohen. Basically kind of saying, well, yeah, he might have. But I don't know. I'm not involved in this at all. All I know is that Michael Cohen is a snake. Mm. Interesting. Now, look, um, is this an attempt to get Cohen to flip? I think it is. I think it is. I think I think this is probably uh, probably a setup. Cuz think about it. That question, that is hard hitting. That is corruption, right? That could be a question that Mueller could ask Cohen. So now, if Mueller's watching, then here we go. We've got an interesting question. We're going to ask Cohen now, did you sell access to the president? Which again could uh be used against him to go and try to flip him against Donald Trump. So that's what's happening. I think that's what this is all about. Uh, and it's a it's a bold question to ask. So I got to give Avenetti props on that because this guy's got like big balls, all right, to ask that question uh, on TV. So but look, Nunberg, as far as Nunberg is concerned, look, I, I do think that he cares a little bit about what happens to Donald Trump. But that said... I assume he'd be okay with seeing both Cohen and Kushner go down. Because, as I said before, he doesn't like those people. doesn't really trust them. I mean, he kind of likes uh, Cohen as a person. But he's a snake. He's a snake. He's a good snake, though. Okay, then. I have a feeling that uh, he would not have any problems watching Cohen go to prison or flip on Trump and then seeing Kushner go down as well. Because... 
that's just the type of White House that Trump was operating. And that's the kind of dirty things that we would expect. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.